don't understand. What what is this? It's a check, Mom. For fifty for fifty thousand dollars? You can't be serious. You're not Is this real? Yeah, of course. Okay, where did you get money like this? From you? No. I'm no. sorry, Danielle. You know, we can't I didn't have anything, this. I promise. The money's Nate's. Nathaniel Q. Salinger, look me in the eye and you tell me where you got this money. Okay, I'll tell you. Promise not to get mad. You know how you don't like me playing the lottery? Only I got this feeling, so I bought a ticket. I put money on the day I met Danny. The date? So I won, Mom. I won $50,000. No, that's impossible. It's a miracle. It's the one that we've been waiting they for. They don't huh? sell lottery tickets to minors, and they most certainly don't give them prize money. So you tell me, where did you get this? Okay, I'll, I'll tell you, but you're not going to like it. Okay, don't freak, boss. I found the kid. Yeah, he says he lost it. But, boss, 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 calm down, okay? Look, once I get my hands on him, He'll find the money. I guarantee it. What about your mom? Was she just like him? No. She left when I was little. I can't believe he made you steal cars. That was the least of it. He saw that I was good in the garage, so he pulled me out of high school, and he trained me up real well. I got so good that I could make a car disappear. I became Dayton's go-to gearhead. I mean, I could make a brand new car out of used parts. My dad thought it was a beautiful thing. So he was proud of you? Except for when he wasn't. Star, if I didn't get out of there, I was going to end up in prison or dead. Or even worse. What's worse than being dead? Ending up like my dad. I'll do that. That's okay, I got it. It's all good. Here you go, baby. So sorry, Cole. I never should have lied to you about Ford. I just, I didn't know how to tell Marco. I, I didn't want to hurt him. I never meant to mess things up between you guys. I talked to him when we were locked up. He listened. I'm not sure it made any difference. I told the cops that I was the one who tried to kill Ford. You did? Yeah. John didn't believe me though. But. He heard Marco and I talking, and he realized that Marco was innocent, so that's good, I guess. Doesn't really matter, though, because Marco still hates me. Or he loved you. I threw it away for that jerk. Don't you ever do that, Hope, okay? You stick to the winners, like your mom and dad. Just lucky Star is still talking to me. Do you think you could ever forgive me? If what you're saying is true, I totally understand why you would want to get out of there. But why would you steal the money? I mean, you knew that he would come after you. I left him a note. I told him I'd pay him back as soon as I could. I mean, I had it all figured out. I was going to hook up with my brother and start a garage of my own. Wait, your brother? Yeah, he's older. He uh, got a scholarship and got out. I mean, I never even finished high school. I was planning on getting my GED and taking a couple of night classes at OU. That, that's where my brother is a teacher's assistant. Well, it was until somebody put him in the hospital. Ford's your brother? You know Bobby. Uh, yeah. She came on to me. Well, so now I tried to kill Ford, too. I can't believe you people. I mean, I come forward at my own risk to help you, and this is how you thank me, treating me like a criminal? You want to answer the question? I didn't have anything to do with Dr. Saybrook being pushed down the stairs or Ford being beat up. And I'm late for an appointment. What was going on when I came in here? I am not really sure. She was very aggressive. It was a little scary. I'm starting to think that maybe Todd, Todd was right and that she pushed me down the stairs. I mean, her attitude, she was hostile. She, she wouldn't look you in the eyes. She was answering c questions with accusations. Well, she's hiding something. And she's not the only one. But I, 
I pushed you away. I... Bang. Yeah, it's uh, Robert Ford. Uh, I need to see you. Yeah, okay, I'm on my way. Hey, are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. You always seem to show up when I need you. <laughs> Let me walk you to your car, okay? I like that. How do you know my brother? Let's just say he gets around. Was I too hard on Ford? I kicked him out, remember? After I tore him a new one. Every marriage needs a pit bull. Excuse me? Oh, well, see, you're pretty tough. And all you have to do is use that juice and tell your mom that you're married. You would have to bring that up. Don't you think it's time? My mother's life revolves around Evangeline. I'm not that important. That's not true. And you're not exactly her favorite person. We have to tell her, Layla. She's your mother. What do you mean? He's a womanizer. It's him. Yeah? That wasn't very nice of you, James, taking off like that. I wanted to meet your little friend. Look, you leave her out of this. Afraid I can't do that, James. Not until you give your father back his money. A little while ago, I got this fake ID. Right? And I used it to play the lottery and then again to collect the money I won. Please don't be mad. I, I did it for us. I figured it was just a dollar and it was worth it. I couldn't stand seeing you cry over losing the house, Mom. Oh, sweetie. You I appreciate it. I mean, I do. But what you did is wrong. Just, just take the money, okay? We need a house to live in. Mom, let me help you, please. Are you hearing me? I told you I don't have the money. That's too bad. I guess I'll just have to hunt you down. You and your little girlfriend. And when I find you, James, I'm not going to be able to let her go. Do you understand me? Look, I don't know how I'm going to get us out of this, but I can't let you get hurt. Call the cops.